Happy New Year, Joanna. Happy New Year. All right, let's start off with one of your predictions, really focused on the VR, AR space that Meta now has about 90% control of. What's the big prediction? I'm going to use some spooky fingers you can't see. I want you to look in your crystal ball. What are you expecting? Um, well, exactly what you said, more of a melding between VR and AR, right? The idea that we can't see anything else around us in our real world with VR, right? We go to a virtual world. With AR, we put things in our real world. And that's something that Meta did last year with the Quest Pro. We expect others to join the space with similar types of headsets this year. First is going to be HTC coming out at CES with a similar type of headset where you'll be able to blend AR and VR. And then the big question mark, and I'm going to put on those spooky fingers and look into the future, is it going to be Apple? Is this going to be the year we see this long rumored headset, which is supposed to do exactly what I've just been talking about, VR and AR, blending the real world with the virtual world. Uh, we've been hearing reports, specifically Bloomberg has reported that this headset is coming out this later this year, that it, or later, later in 2023, to clarify there, and that it's going to have uh, 3D immersive versions of FaceTime, Maps, and other types of Apple apps. All right, let's talk about something else that's spooky in investors. I'm not going to use the spooky fingers. This is serious. Cryptocurrency. We just had our stock survey where 81% of investors say they're not even going to touch it. What do you see for the crypto space going into the new year? I think we're going to continue to see more of the, some of that spooky stuff, seeing sort of the negative side of things. We talked about in this piece, actually, some of the uh, scams around crypto. Uh, really, the idea that this might not be the year anymore where we hear of average people investing in crypto, more people being worried, more people hearing about those scams, more people hearing that their investments have really gone nowhere. Hey, Joanna, it feels like uh, for next year, the most promising or exciting technology, it isn't hardware, it's software. Chat GPT obviously caused a lot of waves uh, here in the Valley and beyond. How do you think that's going to man manifest itself next year? Yeah, I think next year we go from what these tools have been are really toys to tools. The fact that we actually see practical uses of AI in both our personal lives and our professional lives. We're already starting to see companies like Adobe, Microsoft, put these types of generative AI tools into their products. I think there's going to be a lot more of that. I think OpenAI is the really key one to watch. How are they going to go from these sort of research projects to actual pieces of technology that we all want to use? Joanne, I'm so glad that Deirdre asked about that because I feel like all of this generative AI technology has in a lot of ways been the most exciting and surprising thing we've seen this year. I guess the question is, well, we see the excitement there. What happens with social media, especially around TikTok, Twitter? Do we see more innovation out of the likes of Meta? What do you expect? No, oh, Joya, you brought down the conversation. Um, I think, look, it, it's the big question is what happens to Twitter next year? I think that's a big, big player there. Does it become the real true town square of the world? Or does it just get our, our creditors wondering where their where their money is and our regulators just sort of wondering, hey, what's going on here? So that impacts a lot of the other companies. I think it's a it's really sort of the ball's going to go in Meta's court. What can they do to sort of pick up some of those tw Twitter users? Is it about building up Instagram, other parts of Facebook? We've seen others go to sort of these third, uh, I would say, open source type of uh, social media networks like Mastodon and others that are up and coming. So will those be bigger? Um, but uh, obviously around TikTok, you brought that one up too. Lots of scrutiny there on a total opposite thing, which is really the security there and, and the China relationship.